Um, but the match was incredible. They delivered. There were men chanting women's wrestling during that match. Like it was, you could hear it picked up on camera. Cause I even, I looked at Nikki and I said, I mean, of course I couldn't tweet cause I was, t- cause I was timing. Cause you know, <laughs> what oh, i do you and stop i looked watch, at you stopwatch <laughs> types you yeah stopwatch yeah and so i looked at nikki and i was like they are chan- that's men chanting women's wrestling like that's important <laughs> and i was like that's a really big deal um and it was just they were all into it they they delivered they made history they're the first women to ever main event roh pay-per-view um and there are two black women who did it so every like i said every single match of their trilogy has been historic which s- says a lot to them and i think it was phil Lindsay who said that the briscoes versus ftr's trilogy defined the first year of roh under tony khan Athena versus Willow is defining year two. And that is huge praise. Awesome. And they should be treated as such. Like Tony should be treating them that way. Um, Then after the match, I see people like Will Ospreay talking about how yeah, great that. that match was and how they deserved that spot and they earned it and they delivered a home run. And there's wrestlers from other companies talking about how good the match was and how important it was. So it shows you that if you give these women <laughs> the spot that they will more than likely and they're gonna knock network, it out of the guys, park. I know you're not in the Discord, but um, I they've been tagging me a lot this week as things have gone on with that because uh, they're you know Mel and Sam have been banging the drum for this to happen for weeks and all of these. And I'm like, you got to give all the credit to Sam. She's the one that wrote the great article and everything else. I mean, I agree with her, and we have had these discussions, and we have been saying that she yeah. should do it. Mm-hmm. I was like, but I mean, we got to definitely, you know, big shout out to Sam for being Thank the you. one that's, I mean, but I just, they like Jeremy, uh, fine, fine sound from, uh, speaking yeah. of strong style was so very nice this week. And basically was. like t- told us to take our victory lap. And <laughs> he I, did. That I was very, you, I think you especially need to take the <laughs> lap. Cause uh, you even, yeah, wrote, uh, I had a, very, a uh, of my, insightful well, article about it. And yeah. Then, my, uh, my editor for the website that I wrote that for, he was like, I, you know, I'm going to credit Sam for this cause she's been banging this drum for weeks and I'm not doing anything other than amplifying what I'm seeing. I, uh, Athena yeah. and Willow have, been killing it a lot of us have seen what willow's been doing outside of roh what she's done in new japan strong she was not supposed to win that title and she ran with the opportunity she was given which goes back to if you give women these opportunities give them the opportunity to shine give the women these opportunities because they can't do anything when they're not on tv if you're not giving that to them you can't see what they can do and not everything is going to go as well as what as what willow did but that's fine. You have to, it's better than them just sitting there doing nothing and yeah, you can't. Not every keep, men's keep, program's perfect either. So no, there's lots. I mean, QTV gets on TV every damn every week. week. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett's on TV all the time. For some people, that's for them, which whatever. I'm not it not necessarily for me, but it's if it's for you, fine. But then give the women <laughs> they do the, these QTV segments could be women's matches. <laughs> like they could be, there's lots of things that you could be doing uh to give them this stuff but if you're not giving them the opportunity then you they can't give you they can't show you what they can do if you don't Mm -hmm. give them to them and then so i think and i think people should rightfully should be like well look at what athena is doing so if that's you you, they should hold that match up they should hold this trilogy up to tony when he says well this and that well then look at athena you gave her the opportunity and look what she did with that opportunity she She i'd be interested in what the late buys are going to be because a lot of people were like surprised after the fact because you said they weren't going to do it unless it was this and then when it wasn't that i think that some people did actually purchase after Mm -hmm. because the the match was everywhere i mean it was everywhere i I actually it was really great. It was nice to wake up to uh, Twitter just marking out like crazy. About yeah, it took me so that. long to get to my article because I was just looking at Twitter and, and it beautiful. was funny. Brad, uh, I think Brad probably is part of the reason she saw this because Athena has retweeted me a couple of times, but Brad oh, quote tweeted the time where they got 20 minutes and he quote tweeted it and he tagged Athena and Willow in it. Athena t- retweeted it and I ended up with like 30 likes on. I don't think I've ever had a match to get there, which I don't do it for the likes. It's not for that. Obviously. It's, no, it's, but it but is like, it's but nice you are trying to like actually get a point across. I think that you know, uh, very often it gets lost in the shuffle is like, 
about representation and things like that. And like, we still count because we still, we still make 80 cents on your dollar. And we still, I mean, there's, it, it, it's not like women's live is not done. And we are like, say, oh, yay. Right. Like, I mean, and we're not clearly then, because of like, you just said that you can't do that. And then did made a main event with the men, but not the women. And it's right. like, well, are you babying your women? what it sounds like <laughs> grace said every time willow comes out she gets a huge pop it's she true. does she's and she got oh god it was great she got the we've seen her a few the, times this she, year now she got the rap um before the one she because uh because uh ian always raps for her and sometimes ian will sing and some or uh, uh caprice will sing and they do every time in roh and it's become this thing that fans some fans hate it some most fans love it willow loves it and so we got that it. like it was and I was hoping we would. And they, she did. She got the, they did the rap. And then Athena got this yeah. incredible, int like, uh, so Willow had brand new gear. She looked amazing. Athena looked amazing. She had these beautiful uh, angel wings that she was wearing. And she just, and her makeup and her whole presentation was that of a champion, which she should get. Um, and Athena, I will still say, and I love, and I, I'm a huge fan of Athena and Willow. I love both of them. They're doing two completely separate they're two completely separate types of wrestlers and characters but what they're doing is special separately and together uh, they are doing very special things and it just that match reinforced for me that athena is the best woman champion champion in wrestling and she showed it and she won and so yeah so there are some there's you know some concern which we talked about last week is what do you do you have willow lose yet another title match but on the other hand Athena story is that she that nobody can beat her so it would make sense she's already beat Athena once so Keep and going. she's I mean uh, Willow once and Willow got the best of her on rampage so yeah she's gonna be she's gonna change up her game a little bit and like Athena said she was like every single one of my matches is on and then she did this nice little plug of is on watch ROH.com <laughs> and she was like awesome. that people can cut she's like basically people can scout me they and so Athena got the I mean uh, Willow got the best of me and but she that the story is that nobody can beat her so uh, I was not surprised when she retained um I would have been I both like Nikki and I uh, during the match I was like tap out and then I was like don't tap out because like I was so like I would not have cared either way who won that match because they are both but they I think ROH because they are still I mean they're 21 weeks in so they're very early into this new thing that they're doing athena is the person you build your women's division around she has proved that like you have to have the women step up to what she is doing so you have your piece so you've got your kiara hogan's and you've got your La your layla hirsch's and you've got um diamante and you've got trisha dora and you have these women bring in women i still I'm holding out that Jordan is coming in. I don't know that she is. Maybe she, maybe she sees how Tony's booking women is like, maybe not. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I'll go to Japan. Maybe I'll go to Japan because I see what you're doing. <laughs> but you know, Athena is so if you're having Athena do the things that she's doing, and now so Athena's new thing that she's been saying the last few weeks is that she's the forever champion. Nobody can beat her. Yay. And so now <laughs> she became last thir on Thursday, she became the longest reigning uh ROH women's champion ever. Awesome. Um, so I but so I was like, I don't I'm glad that they didn't make her turn around and drop the title the very next night after she reached that big, you know, that's a huge milestone. Um, and they're doing really big things with her. I hope they continue to do really big things with her. Um, as she said, as far as she's concerned, Willow is she, Willow is no longer a threat to her. She's done. So it sounds like maybe they're going to keep Willow on AEW for a while, which they should. Willow has gotten herself over so well mm -hmm. that I don't want her to be lost in the shuffle. Um, apparently, she was not on Collision last night because I saw on her Insta story she's in the Dominican Republic, which she deserves. <laughs> she uh, deserves to be on vacation time, after girl. what she's been doing, especially since February. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they move forward and who continues to challenge Athena. Are they going to bring in? I mean, bring down Nyla Rose. Bring in Marina. Yeah, why not? Bring in, 
That'd be fun. Penelope. You're not going to use them on TV. Bring in Penelope. Like, bring in some of these women. To bring in some more indie talent. Uh, you know, they got Utami wrestled Trisha Dora, which oh, is huge. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. was a really great match. And she actually got the win over Trish. Um, but they're doing, like, Maki Ito says that she wants to she wants to wrestle, like, she wants to be an AEW full-time. Like, she wants to sign a oh. contract. Bring in Maki Ito. Like, bring in these women and do something with Definitely. them give give them to because uh, Ath <laughs> athena wants she said it's on her bucket list to go to japan but she said in the meantime send send them to me i will break them and send them back there you go <laughs> so yeah and nikki said uh, she loves both of them so much and i yeah a huge fan of them both and she said as much as i love Willa, willow athena is it right now which i agree with i don't think her streak should end right now i i can see her holding the title through at least two uh, final battle final battle is where she originally won the title i mean they could potentially have her be someone who was champion longer than a year they uh they're only doing three pay-per-views for per year um right now and so this this is the last pay-per-view until december i don't know what they're going to do in the meantime i mean she could potentially excuse me she could potentially lose on just you know a random thursday night <laughs> but yeah, you know yeah. i i see her probably holding the title through uh through final battle um but yeah i'm excited to see what they do with her and i hope she, she i hope she keeps getting these opportunities and mm -hmm. i hope she keeps growing and then i hope you know if they're gonna let if they're gonna let them the men champion the male champions go be on awtv then you know you should let if you're not if you're not going to keep the brand separate which it sounds like they're not going to be keeping the brand separate right now then athena deserves to be on tv too let her go back and forth and use her because what she's doing right now is special and people deserve to see it um mm -hmm. whether they're paying the 9.99 a month for honor club which i mean the way athena's been doing she's worth the 9.99 a month alone well for why me. not feature her on aw television and see if you can get some signups for uh, yeah OH right TV. exactly yeah, if, I mean, she's good and people go, oh, where's this? Why aren't, or am I not seeing her? Because this is where yeah. she is. Right. So, right. Yeah. So I, I, despite the way that women's wrestling is being ran, um, I am extremely happy for when the women do get their opportunities and they are hopefully given time to shine. You can't really shine that much in a minute match. Can't really shine that much in a five minute match either.